Welcome to this episode of DeVos Education where we're looking at water availability. Water resources are natural resources of water that are potentially useful. Uses of water include agricultural, industrial, household, recreational and environmental activities. All living things require water to grow and reproduce. Wetlands acts as a holding area for large quantities of surface water which can be slowly released into a watershed. One acre of wetland that's only 1 foot deep can hold approximately 330 gallon uh, 330,000 gallons of water. During wet years, wetlands help reduce flooding by acting as a sponge capturing the water and reducing the flood peaks and the volumes and opposite during the dry periods wetlands will ease the effects of the drought by slowly releasing the water that they've stored back into the surrounding areas rivers carry water and nutrients to areas all around the earth they play a very important part in the water cycle acting as drainage channels for surface uh, water Rivers drain nearly 75% of the earth's land surface and rivers provide excellent habitat and food for many of the earth's organisms. Humans often choose to live near rivers because the river can be used to wash themselves, also to water vegetables and cereals like maize that most people grow in the villages for food. And of course the fields have to be close to the river for this watering process to take place. In addition people also fish in the river for food. One of the things that human can do that have a negative impact on our river ecosystems is building of dams. Obstructing the flow of a river or a stream for energy production or to create a lake or to control the levels of water can cause severe damage. Damming can be a great renewable source for power but it may destroy river ecosystems downstream. Damming can also be an effective flood control measure to ensure towns and neighborhoods are safe. But dams can obstruct the path of migratory fish and disrupt the life cycle of many different aquatic organisms. Groundwater depletion can affect surface water systems by reducing groundwater contributions to stream flow therefore impacting ecosystems that rely on groundwater during periods with limited rainfall more than a billion people make a living from wetlands as they provide vital benefits including food fiber flood protection water purification and water supply unfortunately Freshwater wetlands are being lost and degraded faster than any other ecosystem type on the planet. In fact, human activity is probably the most prevalent cause of wetland destruction. Development whether it's drainage or damming to form lakes and ponds, adding pavement or diverting water flow affects the soil hydrological condition or the presence of the water in the soil. In South Africa, the National Water Act provides the rules of how we may use our resources. Water scarcity is a consequence of allowing too much water to be consumed relative to the renewable supply of water derived from rain and snow. At a global level, more than 50% of the world's cities and 75% of all the irrigated farms are experiencing water shortages. on a recurring basis some causes of water scarcity include climate change water pollution industrial agriculture unsustainable energy production and unsustainable industrial practices this has a severe effect it leads to poverty and low education which decrease uh, there's also a decrease in crops which yield less and then there's hunger and starvation destruction of habitat which leads to loss of biodiversity there's poor sanitation which leads to an increase in diseases and a reduced immune system which leads to well death thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and here's some more playlists and 
videos that you might find interesting.